right now at 10, warmer than usual temperatures are helping construction workers. And access dwelling units are now legal in La Crosse after tonight's Common Council meeting. Plus, a soon-to-be indoor pickleball facility gets a liquor license. Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Emily Brown. Ken is on assignment. The woman who was believed to be involved in a shooting at a Northside bar is no longer being charged. Tessa Holler was accused of carrying the weapon Linnell Carter used to allegedly shoot a man outside Newey's Vogue Bar in La Crosse on January 14th. In court today, the judge agreed to dismiss Holler's case. That means the case has been terminated. The state does have the ability to refile the complaint. Holler is still in custody for a different case. Chippewa Falls police have released a statement on the threats made to Chippewa Falls Middle School last fall. A student at the middle school was found searching how to make a bomb on his computer and parents were never notified of it. Chippewa Falls police now saying in a statement, the threat assessment found that the community was not in immediate danger and that's why there was no statement made to parents or the public. Well, accessory dwelling units are now legal in the city of La Crosse after a common council vote tonight. An accessory dwelling unit is a smaller independent residential dwelling unit on the same lot as a single family home. These units may be used to offer privacy to a young family member seeking independence or an elderly family member who needs more supervision rather than living in the main house with the rest of the family members. An ADU could offer more freedom and privacy. Common Council also allowed a soon to be indoor pickleball facility to have a liquor license. The Blue Zone Pickleball is currently under construction and plans to open this year at the old Shopco location on Rose Street. Well, we have new information about this morning's water main break. According to the city of La Crosse, a water main break was discovered on the 3000 block of Ward Avenue early this morning. City officials say the eroded pavement broke and collapsed onto a natural gas line, causing a gas leak. Responding crews shut the gas off and began to repair the affected utilities. Flooding also occurred on Brook Court, causing sediment buildup. Cleanup of that area will take place after repairs are done. The city says Ward Avenue between 29th Court and 31st Street will be closed until tomorrow afternoon. Well, it's only February, but guess what? It's time to start thinking about Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest USA is taking nominations for the 2024 Special Fester. They are asking for nominations of people who love life, love meeting new people, and would love to be part of this year's Oktoberfest family. Nominees should be a person who has a special need or disability. They need to be between the ages of 9 and 21, and they also need to live within a 20-mile radius of La Crosse. Nominations are due Monday, May 6th at 4 p.m. You can submit those to OktoberfestUSA.com. May the best special fester win. Well, today marked the start of the annual lacrosse sports show at the lacrosse center. The show features fun for all ages. For adults, there are a variety of boats, ATVs and campers to check out, as well as vendors and hunting and fishing experts. And for the little ones, the event has multiple animal exhibits with parakeets, lemurs and even fishing in a rainbow trout pond. One man said the event helps him look forward to the springtime. Uh, it's kind of a kickoff to the year, something to do in wintertime and that, to see the new new exhibits and stuff and kind of get you getting the feel of the spring coming, hopefully sooner and later. The lacrosse sports show will continue through Sunday and tomorrow. Our own Greg Barnhart will be live from the show. <clears throat> While the warmer than usual temperatures have made things difficult for recreation this winter, some businesses are cashing in on the opportunity. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall shows us how construction companies are benefiting from the unusual spring temperatures. Jer Jeremy. Yeah, Emily, John Frisch has waited two years to add on to his summer home. He says if it wasn't for this above average winter, the project would never begin. Normally January and February are very, very cold and uh, it's, it's not very sustainable to do outside work. Most years, John Frisch spends the winter inside. 
This year, the contractor has been taking advantage of the mild weather. It's given us an opportunity to work on projects that we probably wouldn't have. Trish is adding on to his summer home in Buffalo City. He's building a sunroom and adding storage space. Usually he'd wait until spring to start, but recent temperatures allowed him to start early. This project wouldn't be happening right now if it wasn't for this weather. You know, it's something we've been wanting to do for a couple years and time hasn't allowed, and this is actually helping us get it done. Frisch says if the weather continues, others should do the same. If it continues the way it has, start planning your projects because it's going to be an early year. Um, you know, there's not as much frost in the ground, there's not as much snow cover, so a lot of times we can't get started with projects until later in the year because of that, but I feel if this weather continues, it's going to be a much earlier start. The temperatures have also been great for his staff. I'd rather work in 40, 50 degree temperatures than sweat. And I asked Frisch how many projects he usually does in the winter. He says it depends on how big the job is and how many his employees can handle at once. Emily. Great. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, warmer temperatures uh, are just about to leave us. Actually, we had a little bit of rain today and it seems like we have a cool friend ahead of us. Uh, let's send it over to Greg for the details on that. Yeah, we definitely uh, broke some records once again before all the showers and thunderstorms that developed here, including the severe stuff in southern Wisconsin. Both locations smashed their record, too, as you see right there, 59 degrees over in the observed. And also, we look at over across most of the area, we got almost to 60, including that 62 in Boscobel. So it was a little warmer down there, and that's kind of where some showers and thunderstorms. This is a time going way back about six hours. You can see the marks of hail and then the tornadoes in the storm that formed south of Madison. Right now, we're not dealing with anything up to the north. We got a few little showers, even a little mix in there. Shouldn't be a bunch of an issue overnight for these areas, but that's the one area that might see it. Otherwise, the winds are going to be the story overnight, but they will start dropping, but higher elevations so will definitely see the 15 to 20. The big storm, the cold front has pushed off to the east. We're kind of in the cold air that's beginning to wrap around relatively cold, comparatively speaking. But overall, as you wake up tomorrow, still fairly not bad for the middle of February. We're looking at 30s and then climbing just into the low 40s at both locations. That is still about 10 degrees above normal, but it's not the warm upper 50s near 60 that we have. Later on, we'll kind of break down what the rest of the weekend looks like and next week, which looks fairly quiet, but it's just colder, but it's relative to compare what we should be this time of year. We're just not going to see the 50s nor the 60s anymore. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, thank you, Greg. Well, recent polling in Wisconsin shows that President Biden and former President Trump are deadlocked in a hypothetical race for the White House. According to the Marquette University Law School poll, Biden and Trump are tied at 49 percent among registered voters in the battleground state. Two percent said they are undecided, but polling shows Biden wouldn't fare as well if he were to face Nikki Haley on the ballot. The former United Nations ambassador led Biden by 16 percentage points in the Marquette poll. Among the Republican candidates for president, Trump received 64 percent of the GOP voters polled. Haley received 22 percent. Wisconsin is one of a handful of battleground states that will decide the next presidential election. Statewide races often come down to just a few thousand votes. Well, there could be a resolution in Madison over redrawing our voting maps. Today, a top Republican said they may pass Governor Evers' legislative maps without any changes and a, a move Evers did not rule out. While touring an elementary school in Lafayette County, Governor Evers said he's open to signing his proposed legislative maps into law if the GOP-controlled legislature passes them. However, the governor was skeptical about that possibility after Republicans recently approved his maps with some changes that protected more GOP incumbents. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, I, they said it last time and it wasn't my, my, my maps, it was, it was their maps. So we'll see what happens. Passing Evers' maps as is could also prevent the state Supreme Court from picking a map that's more favorable to Democrats. Last week, consultants hired by the court ruled out maps submitted by Republicans and determined Democrats' proposals largely met the criteria to create more fair representation. Well, with the Super Bowl quickly approaching, a lot of folks are looking to buy some gear. After the break, an inside look at an area business who's producing merchandise for the Super Bowl. When you 
insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. Welcome to Esco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. We are celebrating President's Day all month long. Take up to five years to pay, interest free. Need new appliances? Take two years to pay. Countertops? Take three years to pay. An adjustable base bed? Take five years to pay. Wesco One Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. News 8 Now presents Center Stage, powered by Maury's. Now, what we want to talk to everybody about is the Center Stage program. Maury's is proud to partner up and really support nonprofits in our community. A lot of these places don't have a budget to advertise with. So Maury's stepped out and said, we're going to donate this time yeah. and we're going to let the community know. We have seven great stores that are participating, in, which is all in the Cooley region. So there's a lot of opportunity to help these nonprofits. And we'll see you on the next Center Stage, brought to you by Maury's. If you've been in a serious accident, you need a serious legal team. By Goff and Rody is the Western Wisconsin powerhouse. Attorneys who won't settle for less than you deserve. Call By Goff and Rody. Well, it's the biggest football game of the year, and it's big money for merchandisers looking to cash in on licensed memorabilia. What you may not know is that a company headquartered right here in the Cooley region is the NFL's largest hard good manufacturer. News 8 Now's Michael Germain gives us an inside look at the makings behind Super Monday. Wincraft Manufacturing in Winona has been a licensee of the NFL for the last 58 years. They make everything from keychains to the championship towels you see players using on the field. And you can bet this Sunday it will be all hands on deck for Wincraft employees, making sure football fans across the country get the winter swag they've been waiting for all season long. So as long as there's been a Super Bowl, Wincraft has been making product. It's the calm before the storm. At this otherwise unassuming factory in Winona, Minnesota, football's most anticipated merchandise is going under the needle. But how does a company get everything done on such short notice? There's no real secret. When craft executives get style guides from teams months before the playoffs, the art department develops the designs. After that, they're glued to their TVs just like the rest of us waiting to see who's advancing to the next round and whose merchandise they'll be turning and burning for store shelves. And they come in to start production and get the product ready to ship out the door the very next day. It's a lot of work, especially when you consider all the products they're responsible for. Flags, pennants, decals. Distributing is the next piece of the puzzle. All these items have to make it on trucks for sporting goods stores across the country. And the product line is growing as well. Stainless steel drinkware, we have a partnership with Ice Shaker. Some of the products, backpacks, and new things that we have launched since our acquisition by Fanatics has been what's the most exciting. While it may seem like an impossible task taking products from game day to Monday in a few short hours, they say their 50 plus years experience is changing the game. As we are all leagues, all uh, events, all championship events, um, there's something constantly that we're working on. Reporting in Winona, Michael Germain, News 8 Now. A tornado touched down in Wisconsin tonight. It was the first Wisconsin tornado in February since records have been kept. More footage when we come back. And we definitely had warm conditions, but we are going to cool down a little bit, but still, we're not going to go below average anytime soon. I'll break down what the temperatures look like this weekend and next, and if we got any snow or rain in the forecast, that all coming up in your first morning weather update after the break. Enjoy time with your family by financing your adventurous side with Union State Bank. Whether you are looking to finance your dream home, boat, snowmobile, UTV, vehicle, or camper, we can make your dreams become a reality. Contact one of our lenders in West Salem or Black River Falls for all your loan financing needs. Make life even more enjoyable by banking with Union State Bank. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender.
Hey, Dominic Karen, I want to show you how easy it is to make award-winning chili using Chili Please Me. First brown a half cup of onions, a half cup of celery, and one pound of ground beef. Then add one can of kidney beans, one can of tomato sauce, a half a cup of water, and two teaspoons of Chili Please Me. Let that simmer for a half an hour and you're good to go. Be sure to get your chili pleasing and 37 other blends at the Pleasing Outlet store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. It's a winner. Jolivet Family Farms, known for farm fresh fruit and vegetables, but featuring so much more. Come see all that we have. Valentine's Day, we have something special for your sweetheart. Homemade goodness, hand-dipped chocolate-covered strawberries, cream cheese pie, heart-shaped cookies, specialty chocolates, candy bouquets, verde sparkling wine, roses, for all your heart-shaped needs, and so much more. There is no substitute for homegrown freshness, open daily year-round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Calling all fishermen, hunters, and outdoor sports enthusiasts. The Lacrosse Sports Show returns February 8th through 11th. Grab the latest gear and browse through the many boats, docks, lifts, ATVs, RVs, fifth wheels, travel trailers, and more. Come for the deals, stay for the fun. Save big with special show only pricing. Experience the many family friendly entertainment options and take home cash and carry items. If there's too much to see, come back a second day for free. The show is open now through Sunday at the Lacrosse Center. LacrosseSportsShow.com. The President's Week Sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, with more choices and better values. Only at Drury's will you find store-wide sale prices, 24-month financing, and free gas just for shopping at Drury's. You'll find incredible savings on furniture for every room in your home. From Daniel's Amish, Flex Steel, Smith Brothers, and Lazy Boy, all on sale. Great prices, 24-month financing, and even free gas. It's happening now. The President's Week Sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. A tornado touched down in southern Wisconsin earlier this evening. The National Weather Service issued a tornado warning for an area south of Madison. Residents reported seeing darkened skies, severe lightning, and a large tornado, as you can see in this video. Alliant Energy is reporting more than 1,000 people without power across southern Wisconsin. Now, this is the first tornado for the state of Wisconsin in the month of February since records have been kept. Well, luckily, we definitely didn't see any tornadoes around us, but it did get a bit windy. Even people reporting in Galesville about having power outages. Let's send it over to Greg for the latest. Yeah, we kind of mentioned that yesterday about the severe threat. There was a marginal risk down there that meant isolated possibilities, even included isolated tornadoes, too. So we did see one of those, but we saw some uh, minor hail up here, even some wind gusts with some of the storms. So all in all, it did come together, like I said, and especially when we see 60 degree temperatures and no snow on the ground in February, that definitely helped with the system coming through. So all that's over really. And if you look at throughout the rest of February, you notice one thing is fairly dry. We're not going to see a lot of precipitation. It's a little bit mixed signal with the way the temperatures are, although the trend has been closer to average. So that's the one thing that we're going to be looking for once we get uh, to next week. As you wake up tomorrow morning, we might see a little bit of snow or, or rain as you go further north to, uh, excuse me, Ladysmith in that area overnight. Should amount to too much. The rest of the area should see just cloud cover as you wake up. Temperature's still above average. We're still above freezing for this time of year waking up. The one thing you will notice tomorrow is more clouds, not as much sun, and the temperatures will not climb as high. We're looking maybe at the mid to upper 30s to the north of uh, Eau Claire. Areas to the south will get into the 40s. We'll see a little bit more sun as we go towards Prairie du Chien. But overall, that's going to be the big change with the breezy west condition. So it's going to be colder, but still, this is about 10 to 12 degrees above where we should be. We'll see clearing skies as we go out probably till Friday night into Saturday. The winds, as I mentioned, 10 to 15 pretty much throughout the day. We'll start seeing them decrease toward the afternoon out of the west. Friday evening looks less windy, so that won't be a problem for any activities going on. And once again, that's what we're looking at for the weekend. Not much, really. We're going to see actually clearing skies for Saturday. That northwest flow will continue. It's not going to be as cold. It does help with no snow on the ground with that northwest wind. We do have a little bit of a weak system maybe potentially coming through Sunday. That looks to provide just some cloud cover, not any precipitation as it comes through. So all in all, the weekend does look fairly quiet and really temperatures pretty reasonable. We just won't see the upper 50s near 60 anytime soon. And you can kind of reflect if you look at the temperature colors on here. We're still above average, and this goes from Sunday 
Monday and Tuesday we will get back in the 40s. So although we're not going to see 25 to 30 degrees above average, we're still going to be above average, at least through potentially Wednesday of next week. We do have a cold front that will be coming through about that time, Wednesday into Thursday, along with dropping the temperatures probably down to more seasonal levels as we get closer to Valentine or Thursday or Friday thereafter, we might have an opportunity for some snow with that too. Nothing significant, but that's what the trend looks like. So fairly quiet until then. As you wake up, still very nice. Mid to upper 30s, that west wind will be blowing. Should be cloudy conditions. Once again, maybe a few flakes of snow or sprinkles as you go further towards Ladysmith, but otherwise it should be dry. Tomorrow, more sun further south to go. Otherwise, from the mid 30s to the north to the low 40s. Won't be much of a change as you wake up from tomorrow morning's temp. Once again, this is still 15 degrees above average. We just don't see the upper 50s or 60s. As you look at the weekend, that's kind of the similar story. Still fairly nice for the middle of February, and that contends until next week where we might get back in the 40s. And then once again, the drop in temperatures towards the end after Valentine's Day, along with maybe a chance of snow coming Thursday morning. We'll keep an eye on that. That doesn't look like it's significant, but once again, not too bad. We're just no. not going to see the 50s anymore. Yeah. It looks like it's uh, like sayonara, right? It's very quiet <laughs> conditions next week. That's okay. a good news. All right. Thanks, Greg. Coming up in sports, Wyatt Farrell hits the ice once again. The La Crescent senior is closing in on the career scoring record. See if he found the net tonight. Kate has the highlights after the break. Yeah, I joke. Uh, my ears were her Valentine's gift a year yeah. ago. So. Yeah. Something I had been thinking about, and so Valentine's Day was coming around, and I had spoke to Tom a couple times, but never made anything definite, and so I just kind of made the definite plan and made it happen, and um, glad I did. Wish I would have done it 20 years ago. Yeah, he can actually participate in conversations now and not just shaking his head. Better hearing is a better life. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The Board Store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. time to honor all presidents, past and present. And at King Furniture, we're giving you the opportunity to save some presidents with huge discounts throughout the entire store, up to 60% off. Now that's what I'm talking about. And right now, you can get 0% financing. So save some presidents at King. For the record, Franklin was not a president, but you can save him too. It's the President's Day sale going on right now at King, King Furniture. Furniture. Nice people. Nice furniture. Nice style. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton. La Crescent's Wyatt Farrell is on a tear this season. Just six goals shy of breaking the Minnesota scoring record. But there's one goal for the Lancers, being the first Minnesota hockey team to make it to state from our area since 1952. The Lancers skating across the border this evening as they travel to the Omni Center to face on Alaska lacrosse. All right, first period, number 21, Michael Stoka gets the scoring started tonight, gets it past the keep. Lancers take the lead. Minutes later, Wyatt Farrell shows us why you don't leave him open in the slot, gets the puck, flips it to the roof. It's 2-0, and the boys were fired up. Second period, LaCrescent leads 3-0. Off the faceoff, Jackson Egan fires from the blue line. Hilltoppers are on the board, but back to the Lancers. Tobias Sadik with the puck weaves his way to the net and puts it away. Lancers get the win 6-2. They improved to 22-1 on the year. Farrell now five goals away from breaking the record. Moving to boys basketball. Central traveling down the road to Holman tonight. Pick this one up late in the second half. Riverhawks paint Stripmodder with the pass to Noah Dingle. 
Misses the first time, but gets the rebound and the putback. Riverhawks up one. Under two minutes to go. Holman moving fast, looking to lock in the win under the hoop. Payton Seacamp collects two of his 13. Vikings go up four. Under 30 seconds to play. Central's Henry Meyer finds Derek Paniger in the corner. A huge bucket for the junior. Riverhawks go up one, but the Vikings still with a chance to win. Jace Leeser going to the hoop. Tough shot off the glass and gets it. Vikings go up 55 54. That's your final. Holman wins a nail biter. All right, now to a non-conference matchup as Sparta travels to Luther. Early in this one, Logan Barr starts off hot, burying the three, giving the Knights a 14-point lead. A few plays later, Will Hulescamp puts his defender through a spin cycle. One-handed floater gets it to fall. And later, Sinclair Bias rifles one down low to Hulescamp. That's an easy two, increases the lead to 19. Sparta trying to stay in this one. John Rice drives, gets the shot to fall, but later in the half, Luther gets the steal. Hules Camp flips it ahead to Landon Bryant for the score as the Knights would run away with this one in the second half, 96 to 57. And then West Salem's Tamarian Henderson looking to follow up his 51 point performance from Monday as the Panthers host Arcadia and Henderson would start right where he left off. Check this out, making the up and under look easy. And later, how about his teammate Nathan Carr? He's going to splash home the triple as Panthers up front. Then on the other end, Devin Bayer finds Tes Ted Teske open in the corner. He would connect on the three to cut the Panther lead to one. Later in the half, Henderson gets the steal, and he's going to take this one coast to coast for the layup. West Salem gets the win 62-49. Panthers are the Cooley Conference champs. All right, GET, they were at home hosting Black River Falls. First half, Tigers on the prowl. Senior Colin Zilmer, open look for three. Count it, Black River Falls up by 20. GET looking to get their offense going. A couple of passes, sets up Cody Schmitz for three up top. Home team still down double digits, and the black and orange would not ease up. Cecil Lopez, a quick look from the outside. That's cash. Visitors up by 22 as Black River Falls gets a huge win, 72 to 49. How about some girls action? Winona Cotter traveling to La Crescent, first half action. Rambler starting quick, passing the ball around, finds Madison Hazelton open for three, knocks it down, Cotter in front. Later in the half, shot clock winding down, Abby Williams finds a cutting Clarissa Sauer. She goes off the glass for two of her 25. And the Ramblers kept their foot on the glass. Caitlin Ubel for three, gets it to go. Ramblers win big, 76 to 38. All right, in the NBA, Bucks hosting the Timberwolves. Wolves down four early, but Anthony Edwards drills the three. Bucks lead by one to the second half, and things would get ugly. Bucks down 26. AJ Green in the corner. That's part of his career night, 27 for him. But this one was all about the Wolves as they would get the win, 129 to 105. Bucks shorthanded, no Dame, no Middleton. They're now one in five in their last six. Milwaukee will go again tomorrow night. That's all for sports. More news after the break. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus. Designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey. A small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Pilgrims is growing, and we want you to be part of a successful, stable, and safe company. We're offering higher wages and more pay incentives than ever before. Stop into our recruitment office any day to apply, or walk in on Wednesdays for an immediate interview. Help us feed the world while we provide you a safe work environment, stable and essential employment, and steady pay. Apply at Pilgrims.com today or anytime at 502 West Main Street, Arcadia, Wisconsin. For over 40 years, LaCrosse Glass and Overhead Door has been the go-to company for anything glass and door. We offer a large stock inventory of CEHI garage doors to help you find the perfect fit. As a locally owned business, we take pride in our work and always get the job done. From commercial glass and glazing to residential glass and CEHI garage doors, we have the experience and expertise to help you. 
Call or visit our website today. I'm Kelly Wild. It's 102.7 WKBH. When my grandmother passed away, my mom gifted me with her a Bohemian cookbook. I found one recipe for a soup and written on top of it in my grandmother's beautiful handwriting was, she really loves this. So I cook up a small batch, bring it over to my mom, and she says, what is this? I said, it's your favorite soup from Grandma Paulda's cookbook. Then my mom said, she would make this for her dog Ginger when she couldn't go to the bathroom. This new Charmin Ultra Soft Smooth Tear is so soft and so smooth. New Charmin Ultra Soft Smooth Tear has wavy perforations that tear so much better for a smooth, more enjoyable go. Charmin, enjoy the go. It ain't my dad's razor, Dad. Hey, watch it. It's from Gillette Labs. This green bar releases trapped hairs from my face. Game changer. Well, the flex this contours to it, so the five blades can get virtually every hair in one stroke for the ultimate Gillette shaving experience. The best a man can get is Gillette Labs. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks. Preschoolers at Northwoods International School got to show off all of their hard work at their IB Expo this evening. Parents and community members were invited to check out the showcase, highlighting everything the preschoolers learned this semester. Northwoods International School is an international baccalaureate school. It focuses on integrating all subject areas and allows students lots of creative freedom. We are focused on inquiry, so we try to get the students involved through activities that allow them to be creative, allowing for student choice as well. They have some flexibility in choosing like what they might want to do or what their final project might be. Northwoods International School was authorized as an IB school in 2021. This is their third year for the Expo. Telling the stories of our community. We're always on and where you can find us. News 8 Now. Expect more. Join today's shoppers as they explore Sweet Valley Artisans. There's so many good things here. How do you pick just one? You don't. I've been looking for something to hang in my garage. What about this or this? Vintage clothing and accessories? Let's check it out. Have you found anything yet? Um, yeah? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I know what you mean. Stop in and find your treasure today. Introducing Ultimate Precision LLC, your trusted partner for precision craftsmanship. From interior to exterior, our expert painters bring life to your vision with impeccable precision. Our masonry and building restoration team breathes new life into the old, preserving history for generations to come. We're the masters of tuck point, securing your structure's integrity one brick at a time. Ultimate Precision LLC, where craftsmanship meets perfection. We're here to deliver the ultimate precision. Today, we seize the day, because at U.S. Cellular, you can get an epic Samsung Galaxy S24 with Galaxy AI. Now, you might be wondering, do I deserve a free Samsung Galaxy S24? You do. You deserve it. Each and every one of you deserves one. Even me? Look under your chair. That's right. Incredible. It's incredible. New and current customers can get the Samsung Galaxy S24 on us with no trade-in. U.S. Cellular. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York-style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at papamurphys.com. All right, we're looking at quiet conditions pretty much for the next eight days. Maybe some snow as we go into Thursday, but all in all, cooler, but still mm -hmm. above average. Can't really complain for the middle of February. Yeah, no, it looks like it's going to be beautiful. All, all right. right, thank you for joining us tonight. We will see you tomorrow.